The D-Audio is modifying certain subsystems of VLSR SAM launcher for reducing its weight. India has issued an OTAM warning for the period between 13th and 15th June for a designated range of 430 km, which could be the test of Rudram-3 air-to-surface missile launched from a Su-30 fighter jet. Amid reports of Chinese J-20 deployed near Indian border, Chinese media has reported that the Chinese Air Force might be testing new technologies for operating J-20 aircraft at high altitudes. Cochin Shipyard Limited has released a new image showcasing the significant progress made on its new dry dock, that will have the capacity to handle vessels of up to 70,000 ton docking displacement. Hell has inaugurated a state-of-the-art propellant tank production and CNC machining facility at its aerospace division, to boost the production of ISRO's GSLV Mark III rockets. During a call made by President Biden to congratulate PM Modi on his electoral win, they discussed U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan's upcoming visit to New Delhi. The DRDO chief has announced plans to integrate a dry cavalry engine derivative into a Tejas trainer aircraft to utilize it as a flying test bed, enabling extensive testing and refinement of the engine in real flight conditions. GTRE has already commenced receiving new batches of the dry cavalry engines, which have been specifically ordered for this testing program. GTRE is also working on developing new afterburner modules for the cavalry engine, the addition of which will increase the combined thrust to approximately 75 kN, which will be used by the DRDO to lobby for a 90 kN cavalry 2.0 engine with improved core. Indian defense startup Wada Aeronautics is currently developing an interceptor missile that is designed to be launched from medium altitude long endurance drones and high altitude long endurance drones. Early indications suggest that the interceptor missile will utilize a turbojet engine that will provide sustained speed for long range surveillance, espionage, or even attack missions. Hyderabad-based firm Edge Force Solutions Private Limited has unveiled its remotely operated mine-protected vehicle, which is a specialized mission support platform specifically designed to tackle the complexities of mine clearance. Its robust build incorporates reinforced armor and mine-resistant features, offering exceptional protection against explosive threats. It features autonomous navigation capabilities, and can navigate pre-programmed routes and avoid obstacles independently. Hindustan Aeronautics is gearing up for the commencement of manufacturing for the Saras Mark II 19 seater aircraft, as the project is expected to gain significant momentum later this year with the release of the final aircraft drawings. National Aerospace Laboratories has already placed orders for crucial components and avionics, paving the way for a smooth transition into manufacturing. National Aerospace Laboratories plans to initially manufacture two prototypes for developmental trials, and the first test flight is anticipated by early 2026. Today's Top 3 Comments 